resolution. A solid line 60 cm long and radius 4 cm has 3 layers of winding of 300 tons each. A 2 cm long wire of mass 2.5 gram lies inside the solenoid near its center, normal to its axis. Both the wire and the axis of the solenoid are in the horizontal plane. The wire is connected through two leads parallel to the axis of the solenoid in the horizontal plane. The wire is connected sorry, solenoid to an external battery which supplies a current of 6 ampere in the wire. What value of current with appropriate sense of circulation in the windings of the solenoid can support the weight of the wire? G is given as 9.8 meter per second square. So what we have here is, we have a solenoid which is 60 cm long and has a radius of 4 cm. So let us say we have a solenoid like this and is 60 cm long. Then it has a radius of 4 cm. So let us say the radius. This is 4 cm long. So this is not a single layer, but it has got three layers. So first one winding other, I will another winding other, other will end the winding other. So totally there are three layers of winding. Then now next thing, a 2 cm long wire of mass 2.5 grams. I will draw it separately first. So this is a wire like this. It is horizontally parallel. So it is 2 cm long and it has a mass of 2.5 grams. It lies inside the solenoid near its center. Normal to its axis. Both the wire and the axis of the solenoid are in the horizontal plane. The wire is connected through two leads. So two leads are present like this. So two leads are present and these, this wire, we need to focus on this wire. This wire is present inside this solenoid. So, axis is like this in the horizontal plane and these two leads are connected to a battery from external side. So, the battery is going to be supplying the current. The current is given in that wire as 6 ampere. So, in this wire, the current is 6 ampere. What we need to find here is, we need to find a current that will be flowing in the windings of this solenoid so that it produces a magnetic field which is going to support the weight of this wire. For the initial information is for the solenoid. So, or solenoid length is given as 60 cm and the number of turns I am going to take as capital turn because I am going to deal with total number of turns there is a 3 layers and each layer is going to have 300 turns so the total number of turns will be equal to 9 per wire the length of the wire is given as 2 cm and the 2 cm I am going to directly write it as then for the wire, I'm going to take it as PL dash, I'm going to take it as one So that length of the wire is given as 2 cm. I'm going to write it as 0 0.02 meter because that you're going to make a system. Then what else is given? The mass of the wire is 2.5 grams. So it will be 2.5 into the power of minus 3 kg. So kg is the SI unit. Then the other thing which is given is the current I1, which is going to be 6 ampere. So that is the given data. Now what we need here is there will be a current flowing in this solenoid and that current is going to produce an magnetic field which will give us an upward force which is going to balance the weight of the so that wire which is carrying the current of 6 ampere. Now next thing is the current. Let us say if the current I flows through the solenoid it produces a magnetic field which balances the weight the weight of the wire then what kind of magnetic field we need to produce is, is a solenoid so B is going to be mu naught young I now, you may notice that I have used capital N here, I am using that small letter N here. And we also know the relationship between capital N and small n. Small n can be written as capital N divided by length, that is the tons per unit length. So I can replace that N with that capital N and L. So I can write it as mu naught N I divided by L. So this is the magnetic field of the solenoid. Then, for the force produced on the wire, The force on the wire is going to be given by the equation that we, we, we derived for the force on a current carrying conductor and that was I L B. So yeah, this is equal to I L B. So this is going to be I because this these two will belong to the wire. It is going to be inside the solenoid and that is going to be with respect to the magnetic field. So it will be I1, L1, and B will be replaced by mu naught L I divided by L. 
Now, if you want to even rewrite this equation in a proper way, but it's not necessary to write it, so I'm going to keep it like that. And this force should be able to balance the weight of the wire. This force should be able to balance the weight of the wire. So yeah, it should also be equal to mg. So these two should be equated. So this I1, L1, mu naught, Yang, I divided by L should be equal to mg. Now I'm going to rewrite this equation for this current I. So as I can write it for this I. So it is going to be, this L is going to be cross multiplied by this mg. It is going to become mg L divided by all the terms for some that is the constants, that is mu naught, then there is Yang, then all the variable things, that is going to be I1 and L1. So we had five terms, one of them remained on the left hand side, all four terms went into the denominator. We had one term in the denominator, it was cross multiplied to Mg. So we got our equation, which is going to give us the final answer. Now substituting the values. So M, the mass of the wire is 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into 9.8, that's the value of acceleration due to gravity. Then the length of the solenoid, it is going to be 60 centimeter, and we have 0 0.6. Then it is divided by mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 into capital Yun is 900 <coughs> into I1, the current in the wire, that is 6 ampere into L1, that is the length of the wire, that is going to be 0 0.02. I is equal to 108.3 ampere. So, so it is a large current which needs to be supplied to the solenoid so that the solenoid can be able to support the weight of that wire, which is carrying a current of 6 ampere.